lightweight scrap. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, the underground. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go. Early round action with the UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. And when you want to talk about mixed martial arts evolution, perhaps no man has improved as much as This could be it. You can finish here. Go, go, go. Slips the punch. Volkanovsky goes for the takedown and misses. Straight punch land. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the city octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. He's going guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Alvarez getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Great job landing the strike from his back. There it is, now he's on the mountain. Three minutes to go. Alvarez is in half goal. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Volkanovski's back in full mount. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, nice. Uh, we're out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Let's look to get to the mount now. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And now he's got the back. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Push off his head and posture. 
All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Big elbow there, lands. Massive shot from the top. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Final seconds around one. <laughs> round two straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Stuff to take down, no problem. Big knee. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Not to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you get him right here. Alvarez's eye starting to swell now. Oh, nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that one. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kick for what got the belt from Max Holloway. He used that to slow Max down, get him out of his conventional stance, and make him fight the stance that he's not used to. And Volkanovsky was able to walk away with the belt on that night. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. And he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of bruising. And you can tell him the way that he's walking. Starting to take an effect. Just over three minutes to go now. in half goal. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Volkanovski. Oh, right into Mount. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. You gotta move your hips. Make some space. Oh. Trip. 
90 seconds to go. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent team. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. All right, that's the end of round number two. Heading back to the corner after that round. Oh, Volkanovski's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? You ready? Third Go. round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice straight there by the underground king. as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. You got this, come on. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined. Oh. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Leg kick lands, nicely done. Great job blocking that punch. Well, I'm no analyst, but this fighter is completely out of gas, hasn't managed his tank well at all, and to compound matters, he's getting cooked on the scorecards. I mean, he is getting outclassed right now. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every Oh, he hurt him again! Oh! Eddie Alvarez is done! Oh, my God! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. And here once more, Bruce Buffett. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by...